Hi guys, Gav321 here. Today we're going to be doing another operator profile on Cavera and Capitel. They're from the Bope Task Force. See you guys then. So this is Capitel. He has one armor and three speed, and his ability is the tactical crossbow, which will shoot the smoke, mini smoke grenades and the incendiary firebolts. And he is from Brazil and from the Bope Task Force. And uh, I'll go over his weapons real quick, which are the first one is the Para 308 Assault Rifle. It has, does for 52 damage and has a capacity of 30 and 650 fire rate. A uh, very good gun. It's my favorite of the two. The next one is the M249 Light Machine Gun. has 100 capacity, 33 damage, and 650 fire rate. This one I don't like that much. I like to use the holographic sight on this baby. The next one is the PRB-92, which does 33 damage and has a capacity of 15. And his options for gadgets are the frag grenade and the stun grenade. And I do like the frag grenade a lot more when using this operator. So this is Capital's first gun, which is the Para 308. And this gun is a very good gun. It has high damage and kind of low fire rate. It's just a very similar gun to Blackbeard's Scar-H but I think a little less damage. Um, the attachments that I like to run on this gun are the ACOG, which I like to run with most of my guns, and the uh, angled grip. I think it's a cool attachment. And um, <clears throat> this gun is a really good gun. Um, it does a high damage. It, I think it's the best of the two guns that I that Capital gets, and or primary weapons at least. And uh, it's, well... Um, it has a good mag size, well it's the average mag size, it's not like the AR-33 where it has, you know, less, which sucks when that happens. Um, it does quite a bit of damage, it's a lot like the Scar-H, if you're used to using that, you'll be very used to using this gun. Um, his LMG is a lot worse than this gun, which we'll go over once this clip is done. And I'll talk more about his gadget, but I think this gun overall is a pretty good gun. Uh, now I'll start to talk about his gadget a little bit. Um, also, for the recoil for this gun, it is not that good. Um, it's it's uh, kind of high since it does high damage, but it's lower than the Scar H at least. So now I'll talk about his gadget more. So his gadget is the micro smoke grenade and the, uh, the uh, incendiary grenade. So there's... The micro smoke grenade um, is just like a regular smoke grenade, just a little bit smaller, and you get two of these in each of part of your thing. As you'll see here, I see how it's two out of zero, and then you use the swap uh, fire modes to swap between these micro smoke grenades and your fire bolts. And um, yeah, I'll talk about it more after I'm done reviewing the M249. So the M249 is the sub -mach er, light machine gun which has 100 capacity, which is the standard for the LMGs. And, but the thing about it is, is that's very similar to the Para 308. Uh, it does it has the same fire rate as 650, but this thing does like 20 less damage than the Para 308. So there's, it does 20 less damage, but it just gives you like 70 more rounds in the mag. So you really want to compensate, do you want damage or do you want ammo? That's the basically difference. It's a really cool looking gun. It has the really cool rat -a -tat -a -tat -a -tat -a -tat noise that it makes. And um, the reload is really long again, so that gives you even less of a reason to use this gun. Um, it's really similar in a lot of other games. Uh, now I'll start talking about the crossbow again. Uh, the micro smoke grenades do um, a very good job of doing... Um, covering your area just the regular smoke grenades are a little bit heavier but the advantage about having a crossbow sh a shot smoke grenade is that you can um shoot it like through it, the hole that you made instead of like a smoke grenade which you have to throw and it takes longer it doesn't have as much range and things like that but his gadget is really cool too or his um secondary gadget which is the grenade the frag grenade or stun grenade i like the frag grenade better stun grenades are good but as you can see this reloads very long uh, but the frag grenade is very good in my opinion. You can just wreck with it. You can walk into a room, pull out your frag, and then um, throw it. Put, th throw a couple of those um, incendiary bolts with the frag grenade, and then you can throw the 
uh, you can throw the smoke grenades to get in there, and it, it, you you can just destroy with his if you use the pair of 308. This gun too, because another cool thing about this gun is it can open up humongous holes. It just rips through unreinforced walls, so you can make really large kill holes. If you, you, you if you want to dump an entire mag, you can make a walkable hole, but it, you can use like like 10 10 bullets to make like a 10 to 20 bullets to make like a prone when you prone and then walk through it hole so you can walk through so that's kind of cool but his gadget is very good at aerial denial and that means that to get people out when you're like grabbing a hostage you can sm uh, f uh, incendiary bolt the um, the doors and it also for good for finding the diffuser and and securing the area all the game modes let you use it and you can use the smoke grenade just like any other smoke grenade and these incendiary bolts do insane damage it's the damage is so good on these weapons and it's just ridiculous. I think it needs a little bit of a nerf because they kill you in like 1.2 seconds. And it's crazy. You'll just get wrecked if you're buying a shield. Now this next clip, which we'll play in a second, is the testing of the weapon. So you'll see here, I'll shoot the smoke grenade down this hallway. Just like regular smoke grenade. And again, it is blue. And I shoot another one. And you see the terrorist who's chasing me couldn't shoot me because he couldn't see. Making finger noises with my or fingers with my hands. Uh, because he, you know, terrorists are dumb, but when you throw that, um, that firebolt, as you can see, it killed him very fast. His thing looks pretty cool. The swap between the gas and the one is really good, and, um, overall, this character is a very good character, and then, but the only bad thing is he's not very versatile, because he get he has, uh, what, three speed and one armor, which makes him very weak, and it's better to have, you know, more armor, so that's the only bad part about this guy. But now we'll move on to uh, Kyvera. So here's Kyvera. She has a one armor and three speed. Her three abilities are the silent step ability, uh, her interrogation ability, and her uh, you can punch people when when you're and when you headshot someone when you're in the sound step mode it downs them and you can, we, when you're in sound step you can also um, punch people she is from brazil and the bope task force and she is a very good ultimate roamer so i'll start talking about her first gun in a little bit here so her first gun is the m12 submachine gun which is th 36 damage and 550 fire rate and 30 capacity. This gun does not compare to other submachine guns due to its low fire rate. And it has regular capacity and such. So she also has the shotgun, which is the Spaz 15, and 28 damage and 6 capacity. It's clip loading, which is a clear advantage. After the semi auto nerfs, they did uh, buff its range. But the Luzin is her modified gun, which gets a custom silencer, which does 99 damage and 15 capacity at close range. Damage drops off at long range, just to note that. The impact grenade and the barbed wire are her, are her abilities. So her first gun is the uh, M12 submachine gun. It's, I'm, in my opinion, it's a really bad gun. I just don't like having low fire rate. I just think defense is more for high fire rate submachine guns. And I just don't really like this gun. It has relatively good damage. But if you look at like the 416 carbine, that thing has like 800 fire rate. And it has like, you know, 40 something damage. It's like way better than this gun so and you can't equip a cog or holographic which kind of sucks you can only equip reflex and red dot which are my worst two favorite sites but again i'll show her ability in a second here or i should um when you go into sound step mode your screen kind of turns green and it forces you to switch to your secondary louisian weapon which is you can down people with one shot from close range, and then you can interrogate them when they're down. And what the interrogation does is it causes your teammates to, uh, or basically your entire team have wall hacks for 10 seconds. You can see where every single enemy is for 10 seconds, and all your teammates get this. So she is a mega roamer. There's no point to go on the objective because her ability will go to waste. And you'll see me, she also gets the impact grenades. She used to have nitro cell, but that got taken away, and that kind of sucks because now she's not as good of a roamer because of it. But um, I would much prefer his, for her Spaz 15 for roaming with this character, which is what you should always be doing. But um, as you can see, I mean, that impact grenade didn't even kill. That's, like, sad. 
but um overall she's a very good operator now we'll go on to her stats 15. so her stats 15 is a very good gun too it has the uh clip load which is really nice it's semi-automatic and uh as you can see i killed someone with the wheezy in there uh you it's semi-automatic so it's very nice for fast fire rate but it only gets six bullets in the in the clip which is not very good because other ones have seven and eight and but it, it's a uh, long range now it used to be super bad range when it came out and it was like the worst shotgun and people were like why did they give her such a weak shotgun well here's the reason you want to down people with this operator you want to down people so then you can interrogate them that's why they gave her a low thing a low thing damage and they buffed its range and increased the rest of the shotgun's range so now it's on par with the other shotguns in the game so that's really nice for her to have now she's kind of better, but also they nerfed her because they took away the nitro cell. Because nitro cells were getting a little bit crazy. But, uh, yeah, her ability is very nice. She gets those three abilities. Another thing you can do, uh, I already said that with the headshot and it doesn't take them out with the pistol. Because it's uh, non-lethal, as it says in the description. And you can't attach anything except for laser sight to her reason but I would recommend it because the whole point is to not be seen if they see your laser sight you know, that kind of ruins it but her sound step does decrease your volume or your how loud your steps are you can still hear barbed wire but it's a lot less and also increases her speed by a little bit you'll see here I'm gonna do her ability I think will I do it yeah here I think a second yeah i'll do it right here uh you'll see me oh yeah i shoot over here but um yeah her ability is really nice and then i'll move on to some there's her ability your screen kind of turns green and then she runs faster and it does decrease over time and then uh regenerates so this gun this ability is basically infinite but you can't just stay on it forever because that'd be overpowered but you do have to switch to your secondary you cannot be in regular mode so this is a nice kill that I got on presidential plane it's a really trolly spot that you can do uh, on presidential plane you can camp here and that's uh, basically impossible for them to get by that's just kind of a quick clip right there but uh the next clip is going to be uh some more multiplayer and then I'll show you an interrogation which is a cool clip uh you'll see here I'm gonna just wait here you go. Uh, I'm going to see this guy, wreck him with that because I was roaming. I think that's what you want to do with this guy, the girl. And then I um, looked over there to make sure there's nobody. And then I went out and I saw Thermite and Glass. And I was a little bit worried that Glass was going to snipe me. So I went back up these stairs. And then there's a guy right on the stairs. And I was like, oh no. And I just kind of stayed here and waited. And then my teammates died from this. But and then I just kind of stayed here and looked. For a little bit and uh but, but so then i look here for a little bit and then i'm gonna go back outside and get another kill on thermite and then i'll go right to the interrogation uh you'll see she's a very competitive operator once you get the hang of her she can be very good you'll see here that i you still can acquire those long range kills it's just a lot harder to do there we go got it and then i ran away and then i got this interrogation right here you'll see Right now, Thatcher walks in, and he, I get him down. I'm like, yes, interrogation time. And then I don't see any teammates with him. you got to make sure there's no teammates or else you will get killed because she's vulnerable. Kill, and then uh, you run. I run outside, and I see all the see all the people on the screen. It lasts for about 10 seconds. And then I... Okay, so that will wrap up my review of the Capital and Kyvera Operator Profile. So the next operator profile will be the SES profile. So guys, next time, and uh, peace out.